you'll have to forgive me. I didn't see you coming. You know, I think people like me and you are really alike. For average folks. From Roosevelt to Reagan. Kaisar to Carter. From the Charlatans to the Charlemagne. We're all average folks. We don't hold any high office. But I want to talk to you today about a little office by the name of class president. Now, I will admit, in these past how many years? Five? Five years. That the class president, well, the entire class cabinet, doesn't really do all that much. Let's talk about why it matters. In our coming year, our junior year, that's 11th grade, we begin to receive more profit from fundraisers. We get to start planning prom. We get to make these big decisions that somebody has to make. Now let me ask you a question. Would you like to make the decisions? Or would you like a power-hungry leader to make the decisions? Let's look back on a dictatorship. The people that make the decisions there. And what has happened to all dictatorships at some point? They all fell. So I'd like to encourage you to vote for someone who will bring your voice into the equation. Where X equals the leader and Y is the people, we must have half of X and 10 of Y for us to have representation. So I'll ask you, vote for someone who takes you into account. Vote for someone who takes your opinion as his own. Vote for Zachary Biggle. Thank you. You need to vote Zachary Beagle. He's a great president. He's done well for us for the past six years. It's vote him. Great president. Okay. Zach Beagle is the best president you can ever have. Do not vote for Evan. Vote for Zach. Yep. Vote for Zach Beagle. Best one out there. Yep. Vote for him. Mr. Beagle. Thank you. I appreciate that. Great. Mr. Bellaport, it's an honor to have your choice. You tell your folks I said hi. I will.